Good gracious, it's Henry, champion of the Rat Eye Tourney. I went to parley with Wolflin. So how did that go? I convinced him to take his gang and leave. Really? I knew you were no fool, but that's something else. You're a born diplomat, Henry. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't be so modest. We have to drink to this. Is there anything I can help you with, Sir Hans? Ah, Henry, the very man I wanted. There is something you can do for me. You see? I'm in love. Ah, there's a new wench at the bathhouse, is there? Watch it, Henry. This is the love of my life we're talking about, not some wench. The face of an angel, breasts like silk pillows to dream on, and good strong hips. A regular Helen of Troy. Troy? Isn't that near Prague? I don't know anyone from there. Never mind, Blockhead. What I'm saying is, she's a fine filly, and you can help me win her. Sounds like fun. I'm all ears. You, Hal, shall be my messenger of love. You shall bear her a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. But why me? It's not like you to be bashful, Sir Hans. You can just go and tell her, um... Certainly not. Carolina is different to the others. She was educated in a convent and needs to be handled with kid gloves. Romanced. I must court her secretly. It's the latest fashion in France. And who is this Carolina? The fairest maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The butcher's daughter. You must have noticed a divine creature in the marketplace. Unless you're more interested in barnyard animals. Carolina. I do know her. She's a pretty girl, all right, but, um... Well, a little below your station. Love knows no station but the heart. And you keep your peasant eyes off her. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. What happened to it? I lost it playing dice at the inn. But you'll get it back for me. You're a smart lad. I'm sure you'll figure out a way. And I'll reward you handsomely. Oh, all right then. Is there something else I should know about this necklace? I lost it at dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Well, that's not important. So, some dice player from Ledechko won your grandmother's valuable necklace. Haven't you learned anything from losing to Zdena, the bathhouse wench? My great-grandmother's... And, as it happens, I have learned a trick or two. But that fellow has the luck of the devil. No doubt he'll still be sitting there, swindling other folk out of their hard-earned groschen. Oh, uh, what's the use? All right, all right. I'll go to Ledetsko, find this diabolical dice player, and see what I can do. Though I'll probably lose my shirt to him. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. God be with you. A tanker here. My respect to you. Are you the one who played dice with Laura Capon? Played and won, lad. Fine noble he may be, but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree with you there. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewellery you want from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. Do you know where this fellow was heading? He was waiting for someone here, but when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sassau River. That one before the charcoal burners camp. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sassau. Can you tell me anything else about him? Fine gent he was, well dressed, on horseback. Had quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interest in looking dice. 
You said they fell well for him. Aye, no wonder. Fine dice they was. Made special. All shiny and whatnot. That's all I need to know. After something, I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um, well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a, um, a, a private matter. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Domkey, in the service of... Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you... That is... I'd like to ask you for your help. I'm listening. Tell me what you know. I will. And I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is... This is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here, I found him... Like this. <sighs> God have mercy on his soul. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. When I finally pulled myself together, I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. No, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandits' camp and find that fucking murderer. And when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. Well, that doesn't make any sense. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not him. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Aye. He moved in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant, a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. What do you know about the brigands in that camp? Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band, Sir Ehar Baron Bielowitz. Some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau custodian would lend you a few men. <sighs> There's nothing I'd like to see more than the lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with their heart. What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to know that. Look, Henry, you'd best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll be a bit hard to avoid that, since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishoff, especially holding up merchants' wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff. Nor Vlashim, for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Damn politics. And how am I supposed to recognise the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but... 
you might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Silver is silver, though. I won't recognise anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. This is pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright and shiny. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. What can you tell me about Alphonse? So they don't catch me out if they start asking questions. Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last few years. He advised people very well, too. He helped them to deal with problems of all kinds. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. But that was ages ago. My word. The whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So are you going to help me? I'll help you. I'll have to go there to look for the necklace anyway. And this seems as good a way as any. Thanks a thousandfold. And for the love of God, don't get caught. I'd never forgive myself if another man lost his life on my account. If it starts to look risky, take to your heels. I'll bear that in mind. Looks like he died without a struggle, maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had, money, jewellery, even his boots. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had, or something in particular? Could it be someone was trying to get rid of something here? I'd be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bilevets. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? All the way from Prague, eh? Not at all, Goodman. Uh, from Slani. Ah, well, that's quite a haul. How was your journey? As well as might be expected in these perilous times. Oh, aye. The roads ain't safe at all these days. There's all sorts of rabble waiting to rob unwary folk and even kill them. Indeed, indeed, I concur. One must be wary, well, cautious, even, when travelling. Right then, but you'll have to wait a while. Sir Earhart is busy at the moment. No matter. I shall just, uh... Ah, but it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets. And some old piece of jewellery. Hmm, jewellery, you say? Oh, that's right. Just go and see old Blaha, the fellow sitting at that table there. He can read, write, and do sums as good as any scribe. And other things, too. He keeps things in shape here a bit. Thank you. I may well do that. Stay home. I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. Aye, he's got his hands full at the moment. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? I'm Blaha, 
It's uh, a heart servant. I take care of things here a bit. Including dice? It has come to my attention that there are interesting things being wagered. True enough. We've got a fine pair of plate gauntlets, two necklaces, one of them's a lovely piece, a good sharp sword, and some other things. I don't remember what. The custom here is if you want to play, you've got to wager something to join. Far be it from me to disrespect established custom. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thanks. Fucking weather. You want to play right away, or...? But enough of this shit. Why wait? I'll play now. No beating around the bush. That's the way. You'll play against Noggin now. He's not the brightest, and he ain't a good loser. Killing, fighting, never losing, robbing, fucking whores, and boozing! You're a fucking cheat! Sir, I challenge you to a duel. I won't take any accusations from you. I accept. Giving up already. What you used to do before. Ah! Well, I was essentially a child. You're free. Leave your weapon and go. So be it. You hear that? 
that lad? He made candles so the monks can shove them up their asses. <laughs> I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. You'll play Berta. He's a man, but they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. joined up with this lot instead. You? Sensory? You're having me on. Nah, it's true. Tonight's your turn. What did you do before? Well, I... I made candles for the monastery. Oh, I'm so hungry. I you hear that, lads? <laughs> made oh. candles for the monastery. Oh, show them their asses. <laughs> I want to play dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. You'll play against Maladata. He's a bit... Well... You'll see for yourself. I'm so yeah. hungry, I can eat my food. Yeah, I can't drink no more today. Yeah. 
girlfriend stink get... everywhere. What else? Should have stayed home. Play dice. Who will be my opponent? They fell your way last time, and no mistake. Then there's Pekuna. He's a local fellow who brings stuff for us. He put up a nice necklace as his wager. Fuck. I'm almost sober again. Hungry, I can eat my boots. Over again. How did I do? Have I won? Well now, Sir Alphonse, you took them all by storm. Here's the key to the prize. Thank you kindly.
Come here, Lily Liver. I have good news for you, Sir Anselm. I know who killed your friend. Who was it? It was Mladotta, one of the brigands. How did you find out? From the dice. All right. I'll take care of it from here. And I owe you for helping me. Here, Henry, take this. I'm sorry I don't have more on me. But if you're ever in Prague, come and look me up and I'll see you're well taken care of. 
It's been a pleasure, Sir Anselm. Godspeed.